of Wachachusetts. I'm June. And I'm a blossoming young man. No, you're Steve. Oh, no, yeah, I forgot. Jokes. We're so happy to be hosting season six of the official TV camp show of Camp Wachachusetts. Greetings from Camp Wachachusetts. For those of you watching at home and not camp. But camp is home. Stephen, this is not the time for jokes. Okay, I'm sorry. For those of you watching at home and not camp, Camp Wachachusetts is a small sleepaway summer camp located at latitude 44.559855, longitude 70.235049 in J. Maine, USA. And for those of you watching from a plane outside our perception of time, it is the year of our Lord, 1972. There's so much that makes this such a special place. For example, we have running water, electricity, cabins, some trees, a reasonable amount of bears. Enough to be cool, but not enough to be scary. Four species of bug in extremely lax health code, no real camp director. It's a mix between libertarianism and anarchy, just like all summer camps should be. And we also have snacks. Now, a lot of people don't know the rich history this camp has. Originally, it was going to be called Camp Panther Pond because of the Panther Pond. But then the guy that came up with that idea didn't know that the owner of the camp was hard of hearing. So we went to the owner of the camp, Pete Owner, and said, let's call the camp Camp Panther Pond. But Pete didn't hear him, so in trying to get a clarification, he exclaimed, Camp Wachachusetts? And the man who came up with the original name was so scared of all forms of authority that he assumed that that was Pete's original name for the camp. <laughs> let's just say the name stuck. So now that you know a little bit about the camp, let's tell you a little bit about us. And I just want to clear the air that yes, my name is June Lee Oswald. That's not a coincidence. Uh, my dad allegedly shot JFK. We all know it was him. Wow, Steve, I didn't know you were a crime scenes forensics expert at age 14. Wow, that's super impressive. Again, I'm very sorry. It's fine. It's just you know that's a fresh wound. Yeah, a fresh, uh, <laughs> a fresh bullet wound. I'm getting very, I'm sorry. It was unfair. And Steve's a fucking orphan. All right, that's enough about us. Let's talk about you and why you're watching. Everyone knows that Camp Wachachusetts is known for having some wacky characters. Like Camp Chef. Dustin the Hot Lifeguard. Tall James. Splint Kringles. S'mores Man. He makes the best s'mores. Yeah, and Pluto the Talking Bear. We're going to interview all these folks. They've all been booked. People, they are locks for the show. We put about as much mental energy into this as two 14-year-olds can because we are clearly both 14 years old. To doy. And as the coolest counselors in the whole gosh darn camp, we're here to bring that watch of witchcraft straight to your living room. We got a lot in store for you guys this summer, and I think it might just be the most fun summer yet. Oh, well, I think you're getting ahead of yourself, Steve. We still have got to get through this first episode. Oh, boy, you're right I am. Today with us, we have our first guest, the one, the only, Lanyard Girl. Not, not. Oh, okay. cool. Because yeah. you like lanyards and knots. <laughs> Thanks. That's kind of my thing. Yeah, so uh, so you like make lanyards, right? Yes, I make the best lanyards in the entire camp and mm. I sell them at the camp store. Oh. oh, remember when we were CITs and we worked at the camp store? Oh, how could I forget the Great Raccoon Gate of 1971? Yeah, kind of weird that Raccoon Gate happened before Watergate. Oh yeah, that crazy news event that happened last week? Yeah, we still don't know all the details. Maybe we could get <laughs> Richard Nixon on the show and ask him a couple questions. Tricky dick, come on. Yeah. <laughs> I made a lanyard while you guys were talking. What? Whoa, that's a, uh, is, is this a good lanyard? Yeah, we have uh, no frame of reference on this. So. Huh. Well, <laughs> as the authority on all things lanyards, mm -hmm. <laughs> da doy! <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I came on this show to do a demo on how to start a box stitch and how to make your own yards. Yards, what are yards? Oh, it's, it's the industry term for lanyards. <laughs> Speaking of industry, do you remember the time that we both worked in the camp factory together? How could I forget? Who knew that making bullets for Vietnam War soldiers could be so much fun? Oh, it's so good to support the war effort. Yeah, I'll never forget the time that I got my no most hours spent working without sleeping or shitting badge. Oh, remember the time that I got my not unionizing Ooh, badge? Yeah, no red devil on our soil. Not at all. <laughs> hey, lanyard girl, you're not in any stupid unions, are you? Uh, no. Good. Yeah, this is the 70s, and communism isn't a vaguely fashionable brand yet. Are you guys going to ask me any questions about uh, lanyards? Hmm. Oh, 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 yeah, I've got one. Lanyard girl, do you ever worry that uh, lanyards are stupid and dumb and that you're also stupid and dumb? <laughs> <laughs> Not usually. Not yeah. usually. <laughs> hey, that's, that's not nice. That's okay, okay, so me and my best friend are having a really good moment and you're kind of shitting on the bed with this interview here. 
Yeah. Okay, so. I'm going to start talking about lanyards. Oh, now. you don't have to. <laughs> All right. You know. Well, any lanyardist is sure to know the Chinese staircase, the Colombian necktie, the box, the double box, the barrel, the double barrel shotgun, the Peruvian exchange, the cobra, real. the no, king cobra, the pants cobra, the OJ, the butterfly, though we all know the butterfly is more of a baby no, we don't know. the frontier justice, the zipper, before, so. and of course, the tactical noose. <laughs> oh, I wish I had a tactical noose after that one. <laughs> hey man, I'm really trying to start a dialogue here. I wish you would stop dialoguing at all. <laughs> please, please, oh, no. let me get this information out to the kids. Yikes. I wanted to let them all know now, because I have not had one single summer of peace since I picked up my first length of gimp. I just want to perfect my 4x4 four four box stitch, which is at least 16 times harder than a normal stitch. But will they let me? No! <laughs> they all know how to do the box stitch, but none of them know how to start a box stitch. Guess what, kids? It's literally the same thing. There's no difference. There's no big secret. It's literally the same stitch. I thought if I came on this show, you two would let me do a tutorial on how no. to start no. a box stitch. But no! No. This summer will be just like every other summer! I doomed to walk around with my gimp scissors starting box stitches for every snot-nosed camper that, that wants to whip out a friendship bracelet or send a keychain home to mommy. Oh, it just keeps going. Right. I just, just want going. a moment of peace. Stop. A moment alone with my gimp. This seems like wildly exaggerated. <laughs> yeah, I just can't imagine. Where are you going? Who are you going? Did you lock the door? It's just a fucking knock! Okay. Okay. That was. God. That was weird. Yeah, I, I guess we should have believed her then, right? Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't really care though. Yeah, me yeah, either. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to sing like a campfire song? Yeah. yeah, I actually wrote a new one all by myself. Oh, you great. Want to grab that guitar yep, yep. and I'll, uh, I'll sing it for you. Hit me <clears> with <throat> it. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. <laughs> I'm so sad. Did you know I don't have a dad? But if I did, he'd be super duper rad. My good old dad. Maybe he'd sip coffee and read the paper. I'd love to sit on his lap. I don't know why I feel the need to say this, but he'd never ever think of doing a, a wiretap. I, I. Uh, Cause he's an honest chap, my good, <laughs> my good old chap. <laughs> what, what, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I just, it's just an honest confession through lyrics. Okay, well, see Peter. the thing is, thing is, we're we're on TV, <laughs> we're on live television on on our TV show that they gave us, and we just lost half our viewers while you were crying. Do you, do you think my dad's watching? No, oh my God, your dad is dead. What? Yeah, yeah, probably. I just. I just want to find him. I know he's out there looking for me. He could be anywhere, even right here at Camp Wachachusetts. Steve, if your dad was at camp, there's no way we wouldn't know. We're counselors, and you know what they say about counselors. Counselors, counselors know, know everything. everything. Yeah, I know, but I just want to know where my dad is, and the only thing I have to remember him by is this locket he gave me. And I have half, and no. he has the other half. I think I know where your dad is. Well, where? He's in the ground. June, why do you <laughs> know my father is dead? Steve, trust me. If he's not dead right now, he will be really soon. Why? What? How do you know that? I know a lot of things most mortal cuts don't. <laughs> what could you possibly? All right, mean I'm gonna that? sing a song. I'm gonna sing a fun song. A fun All right, song. Ready? Some viewers All right, ready? All right, sure. Yep, yep. One, two, three, four. I was riding along on my trusty steed, not a care in the world. I was making good time, slinging rhymes, the happiest horse girl. Nice. Then we started trotting. Something rotten clotted his bloodstream. Nice. He vomited a skeleton. That's quite nuts. The whole thing was obscene. No oh, stop dying, Mr. Horse boy. Come back to life, Mr. Horse. I wanna have a little pony and not a rotting corpse. Oh! Whoa, okay, that was great. Did you write that yourself, Jim? No, that's a classic Dylan. It's on the besides sides of Highway 61 Revisited. All right, that's yeah. cool, I guess. So, yeah. Uh, have a great day at camp, everybody. See you next week. Watch out for ticks. Oh.
Dang, 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 ding, dong, ding, blue moon.